Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Level 4 for another episode of My Microphone Falling Over. Evil End 2, a slight case of space-time continuum disorder. In the last episode, we defeated Reno, and we opened up the uh, path to... Oh, look, we opened up the door to Dr. Zero's lab. So let's head inside. Professor Zero. Always mix that up. Let's see what horrible things that we're going to be doing, because we totally averted the great disaster, right? 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 No. I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. Um, I streamed the other night and I kind of killed it. This is so Chrono Trigger. It's incredible. I've never seen relics like these. I've got a bad feeling about this. It looks like this place was abandoned a hell of a long time ago. I suppose no one's come here since Professor Zero disappeared. That would have been approximately 50 years ago. Perhaps we will stumble on his remains somewhere. <laughs> remains? Why, yes, with any luck. After all, the professor most probably died here. Oh boy! Ah, I wonder what this does. Hey, cool. Ah! A ghost! That looks nothing like a ghost. More likely a recorded message. In fact, why don't we see what it says? That's kind of cool. You look kind of familiar. February 15th. 947, uh, 94, uh, year 940, 947, there we go. I've just arrived in this time period. I tracked the signal of the defective model that led me here. I've managed to do away with them, him and the woman. I will stay here and wait for Subject X to appear. End recording. It's most assuredly Professor Giro, he never went to anywhere without that mask. So, that would imply he too could travel through time. Let's find the weapon and destroy it. Ah, oh, this place, I got a really, really bad feeling about this. Simply astonishing. I should be taking notes. Two complete opposites, okay. This vat's been empty for a long time. So yeah, cool, we get to check this out and wonder maybe we'll get complex mathematical formula can be discerned. One symbol keeps emerging. Infinity. The flickering is annoying. It sure is. Prophecy. Water will wash over the origin of time. Oh god, oh god, oh god, this is Team Aqua's base. A diagram of a magilla that seems to show something is hidden inside. Is it pizza? I think it's pizza. Blurry images of an odd critter running around, some kind of blue hedgehog. <laughs> That's great. Oh my god, wait, this is Dr. Eggman's, uh, this is, this is, uh, the computer's broken. Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog and Dr. Eggman's, like, little flying machine. That's, that's great. Oops. I didn't do it. What's going on? It's some kind of alarm, I think. Perhaps we're not welcome here? <gasps> Are we gonna get into an RPG fight? These guys look especially nasty. I think we should join forces and face them as a group. I agree. Dovey can choose the strategy and we'll take care of the rest. You got active time battle mode. A strategy in this cold world. Okay, so now we're in Chrono Trigger time. Uh, cool. Oh yeah, we can do combos and stuff. That's awesome. Um, what kind of magic do you have? So you're... I'll have you charge, I guess. Uh, what kind of magic do you have? Frost and booster. Let's have you attack. I should really honestly wait for the other two to go so I can do a combo. Let's do a combo! Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, you guys don't really do much on your own, though. How much do I do? 29, that's pretty good. And let's see, you use Confusion, why not? Let's see what, I mean, I assume I know what Confusion does. Let's see if he attacks himself though. No, of course not. Need someone else to attack. I assume that raises our defense. Uh, let's see, Slash. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Charge is the, is the mana. Okay, now I get it. Is there a police car in front of our house? I think these metallic creatures detected our presence when we stepped on that grating. Watch where you're walking. I was about to say, like this? 
Okay, that's broken. Okay, so that's that, that. I like that. This is they got Chrono Trigger style stuff. So let's not step on the vats, I guess. Just to save time. Not the vats, the grates. Just to save time. Uh, let's just walk around over here. I just want that treasure. Oh. It's like, how do I? Oh dear, that's it's not our house. It's them going to the next door neighbors. Again, two police cars. Oh, this is a special occasion. Did I ever tell you guys my next door neighbors are white trash? Because they are! Normally I don't say that about people, but I don't really consider them people after what they've done to my family. All the harassment and everything. But that's for another time! There's no way to go around this grating. Prepare for a tough fight! Yay! It's a thing! Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do the combo attack with... All of them? Can I do all? No. Okay, magic, uh, booster. Let's boost you. Assume that makes his attack go up. Uh, let's see. Nope. Oh, that's haste. Okay. So booster is haste. Uh, let's charge you up. Why not? Let's charge you up. It's not really going to make a difference, but I don't really care. Yeah, that's just going to kill him. <laughs> Okay, so charges for the mana attack, which means I could probably charge Fiend up twice? Yeah. More coming this way! Oh, wow. Let's combo... You're gonna charge. Probably should have uh, used the um, armor, but it doesn't really matter. Does the charge make you go slower? No, it doesn't. I just happen to be faster. Uh, let's use that, and you're gonna wait, and let's, you use ice over there, does it, like, yeah, okay, awesome, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, this is totally Chrono Trigger attack battle logic, and I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. Uh, velvet, magic, eh, you're just gonna attack. Uh, you're gonna attack. And you're gonna heal Velvet. She kinda needs that. She probably just use Booster to start off these fights though, just to, to haste all of us, but whatever. 35 experience. Doesn't show up on our little thingy there, unless we're just not getting- it, That's a Dalek! We must find some way to deactivate the grating. We'll never be able to take on all these creatures. Oh, crud. Those are Daleks. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wait. Uh, magic. Heal. You. Can I can I use a combo with Velvet? Yes, I can. Uh, let's. You. Oh, that's just okay. So I think that's that's just like um, the combos from uh, what, not Wild Arms from from uh, Gra Grandia. No, not Grandia. Uh, dang it! Uh, that really good game. Uh, yeah, that explain that that explains it. That really good game. Um, the one where you get a bazillion characters uh, with a G, isn't it? Uh, with the, the stars of whatever. Uh, was it Grandia? No. Dang it, I totally forgot. Okay, future me. I'm gonna have to give you... You know what? No, future me, just, just don't bother. Okay. Yeah, but those are definitely, definitely Daleks. That's hilarious. Previous security system still online. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to go there. 
Okay, so... No, I can't talk to the Daleks. That's too bad. They'd be like, EXTERMINATE! Security 1 disabled. There we go. Uh, do I have to go to you? Nope. Okay, Security 2. I really hope the Daleks don't attack me because I don't... It's kind of hard to fight them. Kinda hard to fight the Daleks. Nope. Okay. Almost there, and I see the doorway. And there was also a treasure chest. So we're gonna go do that after we disable security. <laughs> okay. Lab 1632. Let's get this. And we get a star! I saw that coming, so I said it early. <laughs> That's just gonna help us heal a little bit. And yeah, let's go up over here. This is really gonna bother me. July 14th, 949. As expected, Subject X has appeared. Only a young girl at this point, but her power is already phenomenal. I managed to capture her, but I've been unable to destroy her. I have started the energy extraction process, which should weaken her. End recording. Uh-huh. Well, that's that's creepy. Uh, ooh. Huh? What's going on? How we manage in the dark? Hey, the light's back on. I sure hope that doesn't keep up much longer. Well, yeah, it could be a bit inconvenient. Let's find the generator and try to fix it, which we're going to do in the next episode. I'm sorry for the short episode, but I'm a bit short on time today. This has been Sephiroth Total 4 with Evil Land 2. In the next episode, we're going to go continue exploring the Chrono Trigger Lab. Yay! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.